to the iCloud. Okay. All right, so come down a little bit further. Just a second. I just need to release my cushion from the chair. Oh, no, it's not right. Hang on a minute. I'm just trying to get the, uh, the height right for the computer. Right, there we are. It's just the, the technology of where to put it. <laughs> Hang on. There. I think I've got to. I'm just going to come back a little bit. Ah, that's it. Yes, we've got it. <laughs> okay, that is the uh, not a technical issue as such, but like where to place the mat for the screen. Okay, so um, lesson plan that side. Uh, you're not going to see me now, obviously. We're going to come down. I'm going to roll down with you, and then I'm going to come into a plank. All right, so we're going to roll down. Once I'm, d I'm down, you'll see me. Okay, it's in my head. So stand at the side of the mat, lift the arms up, breathe in, tummy's nice and strong, drop the head down and roll down, roll down and then come forward and then you're going to go into your down dog, downward facing dog. So your heels are as low as you can down onto the floor. If you can't get there, don't worry, yeah, but the stretch, I want a lovely stretch into the calf muscles okay now I'm gonna walk my hands away and I'm gonna come into a full plank yeah now if you don't want to do a full plank come on to your knees yeah that's totally up to you I'm gonna place my right hand onto my left shoulder and then I'm gonna change that okay that's it lovely so shoulder mobility and strengthening so we mobilize the shoulder during the warm-up with the synovial fluid I talked about and now we can use the shoulders a little bit deeper and with more strength okay we're gonna go into a walking plank so I'm going to come down so I'm gonna use on my walk, walk down on my right arm so I'm gonna come down on my right down on my left up on my right and up on my left yeah and again so down on my right down on my left up on my right and up on my left if you're happy with that stay with it if you want to come with me come in a full plank down on my right down on my left notice my hips are low up on my right up on my left and again down on my right down on my left up on my right up on my left last time down and we stay come down and down plank, uh, plank to pike so now i'm going to lift my hips up to the ceiling and then i'm going to lower yeah and again so i'm lifting high think tailbone to ceiling and then lower and again tailbone up into ceiling and lower lovely two more guys push this is such a lovely core deep core work and you probably feel it one more time waking you up this morning up we go lovely and lower okay guys just drop your right knee drop your left knee and push back now this is your recovery position child's pose so as we go through the next exercises i want you to remember this um stretch so at any time at all you come back into this position yeah rest out and then join us again so this is our recovery okay i'm going to come up onto all fours okay i'm going to face the camera now okay i'm coming around to face the camera and i'm going to just extend my right arm and my left leg okay so i'm going to extend in my right arm and my left leg and then i'm going to come down and then i'm going to go to the other side so extend and lower now you may feel a bit wibbly wobbly yeah but this is where your core muscles are activating yeah this is where the balance the wibble wobble is perfectly normal because you're recruiting further muscle tissue within the core and the core isn't just about the abdominals people just think it's the tummy muscles 
It's the side of your body, the back of your body, and the front. Okay, give me eight on the right. One, tap down. Two, tap down. Three, tap down. Four, four more. Squeeze the glute. This is the hard part now. Six, and seven, and eight. Take that down, just immediately swap sides. So one lift to tap to lower. Lift and lower. Well done. Excellent. Steve, I can, can't see you. I can see Katie. Well done. And Val, there you are. <laughs> I'm really, you keep changing the side of my screen. I've lost count. Two more. One and two. Now go back into your recovery. Yeah, so back into recovery. Okay. Lovely, guys. Come up and through onto your knees. Face forward. Okay, so facing forward. All right, from here, lift the arms up. And then let's go over to the right. And then over to the left. Again, so releasing that lower back. Lovely mobility exercise right through the lumbar. Okay, one more time. And through. Bring your arms down in front and rotate. So we go around to the right, to the front, and over to the other side. And again, so round to the front and through to the other side. Okay. Just take your arms down and circle back to your shoulders. Draw your right knee forward so you're into a half a kneeling. Yeah, if I show you side, half, yeah, half kneel. Okay, so we're gonna we're going to chop the wood. Okay, and we're going to go down, chop the wood, so we're going to go into flexion. So we're going to come down into flexion, and then rotate up and lift across the body. Yeah, and again, down to chop, and lift to corner. And again, down to chop, and lift to corner. One more time, down and through, and lift to corner. Bring your arms down, and replace them at the side of you. Take your knee in. If you need to touch down on the floor, then do so, or you change your kneeling position. Okay, rotation and flexion. Down across the body, and then up into my corner. And again, down across to my left. Lovely, guys, and up to the corner. Use your monitor, look at your screen, to make sure that you're keeping your head up, your shoulders back, and then your arms down and through. Okay, bring in the right leg, um, um, sorry, the left leg in, come back into a kneeling squat, and then lift up. Now, as you lift up, tilt the pelvis. Remember what we did at the beginning, and again. So down, now as you open, take the arms back with you. So using the scaps, in and down, and lift up, lovely. And again, in and back, and up and through one more time in and down lovely lift tilt the pelvis anterior tilt and then in and down okay guys come into a seated position i'm just gonna admit somebody who is in our waiting room no there's nobody in the waiting room <laughs> okay all right uh, 11 lovely people today <laughs> okay so side all right all right, so we're going to sit up nice and tall. Yeah, nice and tall. And then from here, taking the arms away. So like we always do in, in our classes, yeah, in our physical classes, same method, you just take your mind back to all the instruction over the years, is lift up from the ribs, yeah, up through the ribs. So your body is tall before you even start the exercise. Then your arms are out in front, tilt the pelvis, and half roll back. If you don't want your arms here, place them just at the side of the thighs, tilt the pelvis, and come back. Yeah, and lift. And again, down and through, and then lift to the top. Remember, you decide with the arms what you want to do. Let's do a little warm up with the half roll backs. Then we're going to add in our rotation. Which I love the rotation. I think I put this in these in all of my classes. And then up, and it's, I think it's great as well. Familiarity for all of us. Yeah. And then up. Last time, tilt the pelvis, C curve it back, 
and then lift now into rotation so bringing back the elbow take it through and lift up and the other side take it back and lift and again down and pull back and again over and up how are you feeling guys looking good the people i can see on my monitor it's good well done really pull back with that elbow make sure the feet do not come off the floor so you're working the deeper core muscles to the side of the body yeah so into your local muscles into your internal obliques from here um, let's now just bring yourself a little bit further forward if you need to because I'm gonna bring us all the way back okay now tilt the pelvis and roll it all the way back take the arms with you lengthen out through the body classical fitness pilates exercise bring the arms over release the head neck and shoulders and peel away from the mat and lift up now if you need to use your sides you need to use the hands at the side of you then do so okay let's put all that together so i'm going to keep the legs straight to make it a little bit harder so, so just a c curve and then lift. Yeah, I'm going to do four of each. We're going to end up in 12 repetitions. One and lift. Now, if you need to bend your knees, then do, do what you, is right for you. You have to listen to your body. Yeah, this is more, more important of time than ever. There's no feedback from you, obviously, in the classes. We can talk about things. And up. So you follow me. And as I said, remember in your recovery position. Okay, and again. Back and through the last one now we're going to go into the full roll back here yeah? do what's right for you and if you haven't done Pilates for a little while you may find this is like an instant feedback yeah how strong is my core so come up and through and if this is hurting your lower back or you and then just stretch forward lovely classical exercise down and through up and over bringing the arms through lift head neck and shoulders peel 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 away and push you have two more down remember control it don't slam your back down there's not think about like we do with the bridging vertebrae by vertebrae inhale exhale and then bring it out oh, my wire stuck underneath me and then one more time and okay so stretch out your arms and then inhale exhale come down stay here stay here guys stay here stay here lengthen out the body lengthen through oh lovely stretch right throughout the full body okay bring the feet in towards the glutes so it's really about how um how it feels for you you, know, you can place your feet really tight or lengthen them away it's whatever you want to and when we were doing the class, when we started the class, we were rocking the pelvis, weren't we? I asked you to rock forward and back. And I want you just to pelvic tilt now into the floor. So we're going to find that B position. Yeah, so A position. When we push the anterior tilt, our pelvis push towards the ceiling. And then we push back where I'm pushing my lumbar my say coccyx is really pressing down into the mat yeah so up and then lower okay all right then guys find your b position so your pelvis is level yeah your pelvis is symmetrical yeah you've got a little g gap just in the lower part of your back and your body feels comfortable right now it shouldn't be in pain if there is any discomfort start to move the feet around yeah okay then we're going to bridge. I'm going to keep this really simple. So I'm going to tilt the pelvis, squeeze the glutes, and lift to the top. So you lift the hips high, as high as you can get them, yeah? So you can push up. And now, vertebrae by vertebrae, from my cervical, from my thoracic, I take it down. I'm not slamming down onto the mat. And then I'm down towards my coccyx, and I'm down again. Okay, and again. So tilt the pelvis rolling up vertebrae by vertebrae up to the top and squeeze and now roll it down on the next one guys once your coccyx touches down now inhale exhale we're going to stay at the top 
So take it up to the top and stay there. Just lift up your right heel and down, and then your left heel and down. And again, so lift and lower, and lift and lower. And again, so up and down. Okay, so I'm gonna take it to a level two. So this is another option for you if you want to, or you can stay with this. So I'm going to lift up my right leg, and then I'm going to take it back down. Still elevating my hips. They haven't moved. Yes, yeah? so I lengthen and then down. Okay, and again, lengthen and down. And again, so guys, you go back to four heels or legs. It's up to you. I'm just coming to the screen to have a look. So keep that going, keep it going, keep it going. Okay, well done. Well done, Sarah. Dawn, I just see the top of you. Val, I see a leg. Well done. And Catherine, Christine. Excellent, guys. When you're ready, hug your knees into your chest and release off. So a back release. Okay, so a nice back release. And then just circle around. And if you circle to your right side to begin with, then remember, whatever we do on the right, go over to your left side. So circle round. Okay. Three, two, and one. Okay. Open out your arms to the side of you and place your feet down onto the mat. Okay. And so we're going to do a lovely back release, but in frontal plane. So I'm going to bring my legs, my thighs over to the monitor. So I'm coming over so you can come towards me as I come towards you. Shoulders are your stabilizers right now, but they're relaxed down onto the floor. So I'm making this more of a back release rather than an abdominal workout, yeah? This is about, because I've got my feet down, it's a back release, yeah? So this is lovely side to side. Keeping the shoulders down. To make it more of a workout, let's lift up the legs into tabletop. Opening out the arms. Now, roll over to me. Over. Don't allow the thighs to drop. Now, do you feel the difference? Do you feel it now into the, into the core muscles, into your tummy muscles, the rectus abdominis, right the way through, working your upper and lower tummy muscles. Open. And again, so shoulders, as I said, keep them down. They stabilize you. Okay, and again, up and over. Keep that going, guys. Through and back. And one more. Up and over, through and back. Okay. Guys, bring your knees into your chest. Bring them through. We're going to come up into a seated position. Okay, so inhale to exhale and roll up. Okay, so I'm now in a seated position. I'm going to push myself forward so I'm going to end up on the radiator. Now I'm going to place my feet just away from the mat. I'm controlling my body and, and the balance through the core, the front of my core. Yes, this is all going through front muscles, rectus abdominis, and slightly into the internal obliques. So I'm going to come into a roll back. So come back with me again, vertebrae by vertebrae, roll it back and then come to the top. Now, when you come to the top, feet are away from the mat, yeah? Pause, inhale, exhale, and then take it back. Stop at the top, pause, take it again, inhale, exhale, take it back, and to center. Last time, pause, inhale, exhale, and don't slam the back down, yeah? Nice, like we did with the bridge, vertebrae by vertebrae. Okay, guys, coming round, sitting at the front of your mat. And I'm just going to just do a little bit of um, closing, a closing phase with you um, and a little, uh, I'm gonna take the music down in a moment. So let's do a stretch first. So hand on top of the right shoulder, sitting up nice and tall, circle back. And now asking yourself, how does this feel? Shoulders a bit poppy, maybe not as much as they were. I'm just going to do three each side. Sorry, my cue was dreadful then. And then round 
and through. Okay, I'm going to place my right hand down and my left arm over. I'm going to keep my glute down on my left side. And then I'm going to come up and over to the other side. And again, so up and over, stretching away. And then last time, up and over and then stretch. Okay, taking the hands just behind you and just open out the chest, squeezing back. Think about the scaps coming back and opening out through the pecs. Bring your arms around in front, drop your chin to your chest and fold forward. So into a forward flex position, so your chin is closing down. Okay, fold forward even further and bring the arms down in front of you. Keeping your head down, feeling the stretch, not only into the lower back, but also into the gluteals and possibly for some of you, if you're tight in hamstrings, into the side of the um, thighs, into the abductors. Okay, walk the hands back in, come into seated position. Bring in over your right hand to the side of the head, other hand down, give yourself a neck stretch and asking yourself, how does that feel? Nice deep breath. And then down and over the other side. Little stretch through the neck. And the, stre the tension that we can build up through our shoulders, into our neck. And things just become, feel impossible sometimes. And just use these techniques, this stretching. Okay. Placing your hands down at the side of you. Place your hands onto your ribs, just at the side of your ribs, if you want to, or you can place them down onto your, um, onto your thighs. It's up to you. And all I want you to do is just close your eyes and be aware of your breath. As you inhale, feeling your ribs expand, your breath into your belly, and exhale and let your belly just fall forward. And again, inhale. Feeling the rib cage, taking your hands onto your breath and exhale and let it go. And again, inhale and then exhale. Lovely. Feeling the rib cage close down as you're breathing out. Okay. Set yourself just comfortable. If you need just to round off the shoulders slightly, just stay there and close your eyes. Being aware of your breath. A Monday workout setting us up for our week in a positive way. And all I want you to do right now is listen to my words and let them sink into your soul. Accept the work we have just done. Be the person you are, that you are meant to be not the person that you think you should be or what others want you to be. Next time you look in the mirror and say hello to that person, say hello to that warrior goddess or God. Befriend them, support them and love them. Takes nice deep breaths, guys. From there, taking your hands behind you, open your eyes, push back and lift the chest. Back and through to the center, lift up through the right arm, drop it down the back through the shoulder blades and bring the other arm round and squeeze. Lovely stretch around into the tricep. Take it up the other side. Drop down. Humerus stays up. Nice 